Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today's video is about freeze ahead breakfast. So, the first one up is a delicious omelet roll up, and yes, it is plant based and it is customizable. So, I can't wait to show you. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I cut up a small potato and diced it. It's the Yukon Gold, so I didn't even peel it. I'm putting it into a medium hot skillet with about a quarter cup of water. And then I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let this steam up. Uh, and I'm just going to cook it until they're nice and tender. Uh, everything else is not going to be cooked like that because it's going to go ahead and steam uh, whenever I put the tortilla on. You'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. But if you want them a lot softer because they do have a little bit of a crunch, you can go ahead and pre-cook them as well. So I'm putting in onion and uh, some diced jalapeno that was pickled, some squash and zucchini, a couple cloves of garlic, and some cherry tomatoes and a couple of uh, Bella mushrooms. You can put in whatever you want. That's what I meant by it's customizable. So this is what I decided to put into mine. And the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get our eggy um, omelet ready. It's going to be a cup and a quarter of chickpea flour. And as you can see, it's just garbanzo beans or chickpeas. And the really cool thing about it is it's got about five grams of protein in it and an egg that's per serving. And an egg has about six grams per serving. So we're getting a little bit of protein in our breakfast this morning. I'm adding in about a teaspoon of garlic powder. You can totally do this to taste or change up the seasonings that you put in here. So put that right into it. And then I'm also going to put in the black salt that gives it that eggy flavor. Um, there is a specific name for it, but I can't remember what it is. And then I'm putting in one teaspoon of baking powder. Uh, I always have my sodium measurements on the side because we watch our sodium so much. Um, so this was a half a teaspoon, so I put in two. So you're just going to mix up all of the dry ingredients, and then you'll just add in one and two thirds cup of water and mix it well. Okay, so this is the same pan I cooked my potatoes in. I'm just going to put in about half a cup of the mixture that we just made up into a skillet that's nonstick, a really good nonstick skillet because there's no oil or anything in this. And I'm going to have it on medium heat. And then I'm just going to add the toppings. I mixed them up all together. And I'm adding in a good amount. I'm kind of like visualizing because I'm making five of these. So however, you know, I'm just trying to divide this up into five so that I have equal amounts on each roll up. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of the cooked potato as well. So after you get all of your veggies on, just go ahead and let it cook up for a little bit. Through the magic of YouTube, it seems like a few seconds, but really it's about two minutes. And then you're going to put on the tortilla. Now you can use whatever type of tortilla you want. This is what I had on hand. They're low sodium. They're not oil-free, uh, but the Ezekiel uh, brand is oil-free, and you can also make your own. It's more important for us to have the low sodium for my husband. So this is the type of tortillas I had here at the house. Um, um, but anyway, so yeah, the decision's yours. You can use whatever type you want to. And you're just going to let the tortilla brown up on the other side. One thing I want to note is you see how it's like a little bit wet looking right there 
and then over here in the top left it's a little it's like dry so that's how you know that it's done you want to make sure that you get it cooked where it doesn't have like that wet sheen now it's going to be a little bit damper where your veggies are at especially after you put the tortilla on top but just make sure that it's not like shiny and wet looking like that spot was and then you're simply just going to roll them up and I'm actually going to take a bite of this one and enjoy it right now um, but I want to cut it in half and let you see what it looks like it's so delicious and it's just one of the coolest things that I've done lately with plant-based food um, because what's really cool about cooking it like omelet style in the size of the tortilla is that the omelet part touches the entire tortilla and you don't have to worry about like any of the scramble falling out so it's like instead of doing scramble we're doing tortilla and it touches every inch of the tortilla which is pretty cool. Also, if you haven't tried the Siete hot sauce, it's super delicious and it goes really, really well with these tortillas. So whenever I freeze them, I just wrap them up in a little bit of freezer paper, put a little piece of tape on it, and then I'm going to write what it is and I'm also going to put the date on it and then I'm going to put it in one of my reusable zip top bags and I'll add all the links in the description box below. I'm going to add in the recipes. Um, so yeah, that's how simple this is. Um, it's really neat and I hope that you give this a try um, whenever you go to Heat it up in the morning. I usually just heat it up until it's nice and hot, especially in the middle. Sometimes if you need to, you can just cut it in half uh, to go ahead and help warm it up. But it is a really nice little breakfast and something that you don't have to wake up and cook because you already did the work. So next up is a sweet potato muffin and it's super delicious. They're not overly sweet uh, so it's something really good for breakfast to get your day started. You're going to need a cooked sweet potato and a few other basic ingredients and so let's get started. So this is a one cup of oatmeal. It's a little bit more than one cup so I just added in what I ground up. I just did that right in my blender. It was two cups to make one cup of oatmeal flour, half a cup of sweet potato uh, that's been steamed. I did this in my uh, instant pot and then I'm going to add an egg replacer. You could also do a flax egg if you would like, but I decided to use this. Uh, it keeps the fat a little bit lower. And then I'm going to add in a, a quarter cup of maple syrup. And I'd like to note, I should have mixed in the dry ingredients first, but I didn't do that. Um, so anyway, whenever you're making these, get all of your dry ingredients into the bowl first. So this is baking soda and a little bit of baking powder. And then a little bit of cinnamon and I'm going to have the recipe in the description box below and then one tablespoon of nut butter. I had peanut butter on hand. Any kind of nut butter would work. Then half a cup of plant milk of your choice and a splash of vanilla and then mix everything up really well and then we're going to get it right into our muffin pan. I think because of the little bit of nut butter that's in it and I used a non-stick pan, I didn't have to spray this or use muffin cups, but be aware that if your pan is not non-stick, you may need to use muffin cups uh, to keep it oil free and to keep it from sticking to your pan. So just a heads up on that. So after it's mixed up well, I just took an ice cream scooper and put it right into the muffin pan. Now this makes about 12 muffins. I probably could have filled it up and made like 10 uh, fuller muffins, but the choice is yours. I just went ahead and filled the tray up. You're going to set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to cook it for about... 25 to 35 minutes depending on your stove but you want it to come clean whenever you put in a toothpick or a knife whatever you decide to use whenever you put it in the middle to see if it's done you just want to make sure that it doesn't come uh, onto your utensil and make sure that it's clean and then you will know that it's done and um, it's really super simple and whenever you go to freeze these you can just put them like in a single layer and then toss them into another reusable bag like I used or some other kind of container and it's really that easy y'all. Also I'd like to mention that this recipe came from uh, the channel called Shine with Plants 
and she's got a really awesome channel going. I did adapt this recipe to suit my needs, uh, so I changed a few things, but I do want to give credit where credit's due. So this recipe came from her, and I'm also going to link her recipe in the description box below so you can check it out uh, because it is a really great recipe. Um, so I hope that you give uh, them a try and check hers out. You may really like the way that she makes hers as well. So there they are after they come out of the oven. They don't get like super pillowy, but they're very delicious and you could grab two or three of them, have one for breakfast, something that's already done, and you could throw in some veggies uh, in the microwave if you wanted to, but I just thought that this would be a really nice uh, breakfast. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.